Hey guys, it's Jamie here. Welcome to another Stash Builder challenge. Today we're going to be using some junk mail envelopes. I seem to get an inordinate amount of bills and I do keep the envelopes so that I can make beautiful pockets with them. And sometimes they're collage from scrap pieces and other times I use a whole printable as the front cover. I will be going through both those methods with you today so that you can produce a range of different size pockets that have the advantage of the window as part of your stash building for future journals. Because one of my designs involves using some paper dolls, I have produced one page of famous people as paper dolls. This has involved cropping the photos, making them black and white, editing to be different sizes all on one piece of A4. It's part of a project I was doing for Art Tribe where I've got about seven different pages of those figures to give out with a collage project in the future. For details on Art Tribe, the link is in the description, as is the link for the free printable my Etsy shop with Emma and Zern and also my Kofi tip jar. Because I'm currently working part-time I'm trying to make videos on my days off which means sometimes I'm making back-to-back -back videos even though you don't see them for a full week. When I can I will update you and thank those who have added to that tip jar. Because the videos are made back to back, I'm tending to do that once every two to three weeks, so I get a list of names. Now we're gonna swap to the overhead shot that's now been fixed up properly by my builder for the rest of the tutorial. The first thing you're going to do is to cut down three sides of your junk mail envelope. When these various bills arrive at my house, and even flyers that sometimes come in this style of envelope, I always make sure that when opening them, I only take a slither off to get the letter out. What I'm saying is there's no ripping and tearing to open these envelopes. Therefore, all we have to do now is tidy up the edges and open up a further two sides. If you have lots of these envelopes, like myself, you can use this as an opportunity to make different size pockets. And even pockets that open different ways, for example, vertically and also horizontally. I'm going through my pile to make lots of different sizes. This one I'm taking to be a reasonably small pocket. Once you have a suitable pile of envelopes ready to decorate, I think I went with about 15, it's time to make them something of interest for the junk journal. With this one, I'm using my heavy matte medium gel to put a background on the inside of the envelope because that will be seen through the window. This pocket is going to be used in my steampunk themed junk journal which is one of our big bundle creator clubs, therefore comes with a load of papers, fussy carts, pockets, all that type of thing. I've chosen the cat fussy cart to go onto the background so it can be seen in the window. Remembering that these pockets will hold tags, so it will only be seen when you remove the tag from the pocket. Therefore, it becomes a bit of a surprise element. For this design, I've decided to use scraps of my hand printed papers. Therefore, I'm going to collage around the window. When using collage in this style of project, I will repeat papers to give it continuity. On this example, I am still using scrap papers and a collage style. And you can see here that I'm mixing it up by using both straight edge scrap pieces and torn edge scrap pieces. I wanted this example to have things that you might already have so I'm using old music score, book pages and also some of my handprint papers which I'm pretty sure was in a previous video. Here you can see me using another piece of the same book page which will help with that continuity that I was talking about. 
so the collage isn't just random bits and pieces. Tones are similar. There are repeats of the scraps. I also have lots of different textures going on. This is a piece of cardboard box that has been inked and torn. Because I want to make sure everything sticks down, I'm using some grease proof or wax paper and a heavy book while that all dries. Once it dries, I do the inside of the pocket in a very similar style so that, again, I'm repeating the papers that have been used on the outside around that window. This is how it's looking so far. And now I'm just selecting a photograph from the printables that come with the Steampunk Creator Club. Within the Mega Bundle, there were also some Steampunk style picture frames, so I decided to add that. I am very much a more is more person and I do like my makes, even if I'm using printables from our shop, to be unique. So I'm adding some general bits and pieces that I've got as a collage to the bottom of my pocket. And then some more of the fussy carts to give it a real steampunk grungy vibe. And there we have it, a tall window pocket from a junk mail envelope. The only thing left to do with that one is I'm going to sew the three sides to create a top loading pocket. This junk mail envelope has been cut to make a smaller pocket and I found a scrap piece of paper from, I think it's our boho kit, that will actually cover the whole of the inside. For the collage at the front of the pocket, I'm using that background colourway as the inspiration and I found some scraps in those colours. Now the front background has been completed, I'm simply adding some extra bits of ephemera as focal points. I wanted this video tutorial series to show you that you can use almost anything in your junk journals. You do not have to buy from our shop. Although, of course, all purchases are highly appreciated and do help support the making of all these tutorials. However, here you can see me using a modern magazine to make a journal pocket. And I think I'm calling this my art style pocket or art theme pocket because it's very modern looking. In this part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you what to do if you want to add a whole piece of paper to the front and not have to worry too much about where and how to cut the window. What you can see me doing here is going round the window shape with a thick Derwin ink intense pencil. You can use a charcoal piece here as well. You are looking for anything that you can go around this window with that when you place a piece of paper on top and rub will transfer a print to the back of the paper that you place over it. I'm using one of the Apoca 3 papers because I want to make a couple of pockets to get a head start on that main creator club that's coming up. And here you can see me using a hard piece of plastic to rub over those lines. And I am checking to make sure they have transferred to the back of my printable. Now I'm simply going to cut inside of those transfer lines to make sure that the framing that I'm getting for that window is easy to line up because I'm making the hole smaller than the window of the envelope. For the inside of that a pocket three envelope pocket i'm going to actually use a different printable to create a nice contrast i'm just aging around the edge with a little bit of distress ink vintage photo and adding one of the bottle fussy cuts as decoration ages ago zern sent me an original copy of a life magazine from the usa i still have pages and pages of it left so I'm looking to use that to make a more Tim Holtz style junk mail envelope pocket. Of course, I can't resist using offcuts from the previous Apoca 3 envelope on this one and mixing it up with some scrap music score to give it that Tim Holtz look. Let's do a quick run through of the final designs. Hopefully you can see in these pictures that I have sewn around the edges of 
all of them to make them into pockets and created a few different themes using scraps, printables, magazine images, all the things we seem to be using in our stash builder challenges. Thank you for taking part in the latest challenge video and I will see you very, very soon.